coverage of Making a Champion, we take a look at Cecil the Diesel Collins, who arguably is one of the greatest high school football players to ever come out of Louisiana. Cecil put up huge stats at Leesville High School during his four years as a player for the Wampus Cats, and to this day is still talked about. But Collins made some off-the-field mistakes, which ultimately cost him his football career and his freedom. Collins has been in a correctional center since 1999 for burglary and is scheduled to be released not until 2014. His high school coach, Danny Smith, says it's been tough to see him incarcerated. My wife and my girls, are, we as a family, I mean, we... Yeah, we, we took a special interest in him as a person, you know, not just an athlete. I have had contact with him through letters, you know, there, uh, you know, while he's been in prison. And, and just, you know, you try to be as encouraging as you can because you know that there are tough days ahead. Now, coming up tonight at 10 o'clock, we'll go more in depth on how and why Collins' promising football career never came to be. That's tonight at 10 in the making of a champion. Welcome back. In our continuing series, Making a Champion, we've showed you a former high school football star who made all the right choices both on and off the field, which allowed him to live out his dream of life. Tonight, Jeff Horchak shows us another former Louisiana high school football star who made the wrong decisions off the field and has paid dearly for it. Opening arguments got underway in the Cecil Collins burglary trial. The former Dolphins running back is charged with breaking into neighbor Tina Nolte's Davy apartment back in December 1999. Cecil Collins sadly spent more time in court in Miami than he ever did running the football for the Dolphins. The Cecil Collins story starts in Leesville, where Collins still to this day is a prep football legend. He was incredibly strong, very fast. Uh, uh, you know, the 100-yard dash, he won the state championship, I believe, one year at Leesville. But I never saw the combination, the complete package he had. He, he had it all. It was just a, an amazing talent. You know, there's a thing in this community, when you talk about him, some of the young ones coming up now, they, they may not remember the name Cecil Collins, but they, they have heard of the diesel. Collins days here at Leesville High were pretty impressive. In fact, he rushed for over 7,800 yards in four seasons and scored 99 touchdowns. His senior year, he rushed for 3,045 yards and scored 40 touchdowns and helping lead the Wampus Cats to the state finals. If he needed to drop the shoulder pads and, and, and get for yardage, he could do that. Then he could set you up. And then when he sets you up, I mean, colleges uh, were in Leesville all the time, major colleges. Uh, all the top schools, you name them, from LSU, Alabama, uh, Auburn, uh, Texas, all were interested in, in Cecil. Cecil was suspended three times before his first game of his senior year at Leesville High and ran into trouble at LSU. He played in only four games for the Tigers and rushed for 596 yards before breaking his leg against Vanderbilt. He was then eventually kicked off the team after being arrested twice for illegally entering two college girls' apartments. From there, he transferred to McNeese State, where he appeared in only two games for the Cowboys and was again kicked off the team for failing a drug test. I've heard stories of when he left that, you know, LSU, that, that again, that Leesville and, 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 and Baton Rouge are two different elements. You know, there's a lot more there than there is here. And, you know, that's where that, if, as tough as it is, even if you're grounded, you know, solid, making choices and decisions. He, you know, that was tough for him. Despite only playing in six college games, Collins' talents on the field were so evident that he still managed to be selected in the fifth round of the 1999 NFL Draft by the Miami Dolphins, but only appeared in eight games that season, rushing for 414 yards and two touchdowns before being sentenced to 15 years in the Hendry Correctional Center for, again, another burglary. To those who know Cecil Collins the best, like his high school coach, Danny Smith, it's been tough to watch such a promising talent not live up to his potential. But I think it still comes down to, you know, doing what's right, you know, making good choices and decisions. And I just, I just want to apologize. Collins is expected to be released from the Correctional Center but not until 2014. But upon release, he may face incarceration in Louisiana due to his prior conduct. TV10 contacted Cecil Collins for a statement on this piece, but he never responded. 